Welcome to the next in our series of building the firebug where today we'll go through the subdeck structure and uh, how to attach the deck. Uh, firstly apologies for those people who have been following this series live and um, a little bit of the delay we've had between the last video and this one but we've been a little bit busy as you can see we've got three uh, bugs in the shed here and we have another four outside. So that's my one and uh, six other people that we've got coming uh, every week uh, building these fire bugs. So we'll start with the four deck structure. The whole sub deck structure is reasonably easy. Uh, for a start we have this king plank going down the middle and we have these uh, two uh, beams going across which are let into the uh, king plank. The only real difficulty with these is the marking and cutting this compound angle on the side. Underneath we have the compression post. Right at this point here, which is 300 millimeters in front of this bulkhead, is exactly where the mast is going to come down. So this compression post is required to support the deck with the pressure of the mast coming down on top of it. Up beside that compression post there's two, again, 19 by 19 mil or 20 by 20 mil pieces of wood that just run vertically down the side from underneath this beam uh, down to the bottom here. I have the beam clamped in place so it's nice and firm and the first thing I'm going to do here is sit this ruler on the side of the gunnel which gives me this angle of the gunnel here which I can transfer up onto the beam. So I just run a line along the side. So I've now got a line here. So I can do exactly the same on the back side. So what this gives us is the line that we need, or the angle we need to cut this piece of wood. Unfortunately, this is in the wrong place, but it is at the right angle. It's in the wrong place because, of course, this beam is all going to drop down about 20 mils, the thickness of the beam. This length here is exactly where it needs to be at the top. So all we now need to do is transfer this line straight up and then take an angle down. Here's our line. So, using my square, I'm now going to take that line straight up as you can see using this little device we'll measure off that angle of the existing line and then I'll use that to transfer it across to the new spot. So we can now see where we need to cut. So here was our original line, but what we knew was actually up here was the, uh, the length. We've transferred that up and we've transferred that angle straight back down again. If you do that on the other side, which will be in a slightly different position. You can then connect the lines across the top and the points of the lines across the bottom and it gives you the angle that you need to cut. We use this technique to cut the ends of uh, both our beams on the front, either end and the end of the king plank. At the forward end of the king plank, at the bow, we have uh, two pieces of wood which sit either side of that girder and the king plank. Here I've just got two pieces which have been uh, rough cut to length. It's a reasonably simple process to uh, scribe along the bottom here. If we put a piece of wood in beside this uh, that sits on the bottom, we can take that angle off there. Once we've cut that, then it's simple enough to 
scribe and cut it at the top. What you will find is that you will have at the bottom here a bit of fillet of glue, um, etc. Rather than taking those out and weakening the joint, just uh, ease it in the back of the um, piece of wood, just round it over, and uh, so it will actually fit up and tight and snug. Here we are at the stern, and um, on here we have three of the uh, beams that go across. One uh, that will go across right in the middle, and the other ones uh, sit over the top of the uh, chines here. Um, likewise at the stem we've got our two pieces of wood which will come vertically up. Now these serve the purpose of not only supporting that, but supporting the uh, gudgeons and pintle. Here's a finished four-deck structure. The uh, beams on the side are held by these uh, four mill hangers uh, that just have the cutout. These provide uh, some structural strength uh, for any compression coming down. So rather than it just holding by the glue joint, it's held really strongly by this um, structural joint with this four mill ply glued on, which creates the notch for the beam. Here's our finished compression post, and you can see those 19 or 20 by 20 uh, pieces on the side of the compression post. The bow here, we've got a couple of little pieces uh, of 4 mil by 4 mil strapped on. That's because we're using this uh, fitting here for the bow, and it is 20 or 19 mil wide and you can see the two screw holes there so what we've done is by putting those on the side it just gives us a little bit once we've got the deck on gives us a little bit more landing space um, otherwise looking at it it was going to be reasonably easy to push uh, one of those screws out the side of the beam if we didn't have it lined up perfectly so that's all we've done there when we have a uh, screw we've put a screw in to this uh, king plank at the front and when we were doing that we were just very conscious of these two screws that will hold the fitting and making sure that our screw into the front of the plank was well in the middle of those two so that they're not going to clash. Here's our gudgeon and pin tools. Uh, so I've got these connected together. So our gudgeon up the top and our pin tool down the bottom. So uh, our pin tools are going to be on the boat and our gudgeons are going to be on the rudder. So when they're together they'll sit like that. Now they sit on the back of the boat here and what you will see is that the screw holes for the pintle here line up perfectly uh, in the middle of those two vertical pieces uh, supporting the stern of the boat. What you need to ensure is if you're not going to use the scudgeon and pintle set is that uh, the supporting woodwork and the stern of your boat will actually support the attachment of your pintles. So I would advise to uh, source these before you've uh, completed this section of your boat so that you can add extra wood where needed. In the bow of the boat we've uh, cut out lightning holes and the same in the stern as well and this one here has been prepared for the deck to go on with uh, two uh, coats of thinned epoxy on the inside. All that we have done uh, before we've applied that is that we've uh, put a few little bits of fillets around. Uh, we've uh, definitely filleted this joint here between the bulkhead uh, number two uh, to make sure that we've got a completely airtight compartment up front.